I just got access to cloud coach. So I'm going to show you how to set it up. So if you go to Anthropics documentation, you see it here, by the way, there's a waiting list to get it. So I suggest signing up as soon as possible. It's in research preview, the system requirements. It's really easy to set up. So basically you open terminal, you put in this NPM command and that's it. So, so I already did that. So now we're going to go to a project directory. I'm using warp terminal. So we're going to do some vibe cloud coding, go to the cloud MCP folder on the desktop, and then go into the headache tracker the new headache tracker directory so we're in it desktop cloud mcb headache tracker new great so the next step now that we're in the directory we just type in cloud welcome to cloud code research preview we get to choose our text pretty much just our theme our style i think this one looks nice red white and blue welcome to cloud code cloud code is built based on api usage so you have to have an api account keep in mind that Anthropic and cloud's models are some of the most expensive apis to date unlike some of the other companies like even OpenAI's API fees, theirs are so expensive. They did not get affected by the deep seek thing, but whatever. Claude is the best coder. Not O3, not R1. Claude is king. So if you don't have a Claude Anthropic console account yet, just go sign up. It's really easy. And if you're here, I'm guessing you already have it. So we'll just move forward. Pricing may evolve as we move towards general availability. Because of course, they're going to compete with Cursor. They're going to compete with Windsurf, with Lovable, with everything. And by the way, Cursor, Windsurf, Lovable, everyone's using Cloud anyway. So it makes sense. Press enter to log into your Anthropic console account. So we'll just do that. Okay, that's me. Generate API keys on your behalf. That's fine. Access to your Anthropic profile information. Go for it. Okay, so security notes. Cloud code is currently in research preview. Log to make mistakes. You should always review Cloud's responses, especially when running code. Due to prompt injection risks, only use it with a code you trust. Hopefully you're using your own code. Press enter. And we're still onboarding. Using Cloud code effectively. Start in your project directory. Files are automatically added to context when needed. I like it. Use Cloud code as a development partner. Get help with file analysis, editing, bash commands, and git history. Cool. Provide clear context. Be as specific specific as you would with another engineer, the better the context, the better the results. And that's what I say all the time with anything you do with LLMs, context, 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 but not too much context because you don't want to hit the context window. Okay, let's press enter. Do you trust the files in this folder? This is just a project I've been working on. A little. Okay, lastly, I'm going to show you how to set up MCP servers within Claude Code. And to be honest, this took me a while to get right. The documentation isn't so straightforward. And I think my problem was using warp because I think sometimes warp will like not show you the full interactive mode of the terminal so basically i stopped using warp i went back to regular terminal and i was able to accomplish it this way so the way we set up mcp servers with cloud code is actually very similar to the cursor setup where we use an stdio format so i'm going to show it to you right now as usual we're going to set up brave because i want to show you how to set it up with an environment variable and we're going to set up a regular one like fetch let's go as you can see down here there is some documentation on MCP. The basic syntax is Claude MCP add the name, like the nickname, the command, and any arguments. Claude MCP list tells you all the MCP servers you have set up, and you can remove it by Claude MCP remove. Another thing you should keep in mind is the way Claude code works is on a per project basis. So if you want to then go into a different project, you're going to have to reset up MCP servers. Now, of course, you could add a global flag or add the scope to global. Right now, I'm just going to do the regular setup in my current project. So, so let's just open up terminal. Okay, we're just going to make a test folder, KDR test one, and we're going to go into that. Obviously, you put it into the project you're working on. Okay, so now let's just look at, first of all, how to set up fetch, because it's a very simple one. So we're just looking at the regular documentation for the MCP. And so we see the command is UVX and we see it's MCP server fetch. Okay, so this is what we need to know. If we look back at the documentation, we do cloud MCP add, we'll give it a name and then we'll add the command. And of course, if we use environment variables, we do dash E and put the API key, but we'll do that in a second with brave. So first, let's go back to here. First of all, we'll go back into cloud code. So we type in cloud. Do we trust the files in this folder? Yes, there's nothing in there, but yes. You now let's move this over here. Then we're typing in command UVX and then the argument here. So again, just to show you, MCP add, the name fetch, the command and the argument. Press, press enter. Yeah, my bad. I forgot the first part. All right, let's do that one more time. Let's just go back. Let's just copy the whole thing. Sorry, it's really late. Okay, so let's type in Claude and then paste this back in. So just to let you know, it didn't work right away. It had to kind of understand what we're trying to do here but now we're going to say yes and now it worked so bottom line is i put in the command at first it kind of said what are you doing i gave a cloud mcb add fetch and i gave it the same exact command didn't know what i was doing i just went with it i had to look at cloud mcp said i see mcb as part of cloud command sometimes you have to push it i don't really understand why but it worked in the end i just re-put the command you see here cloud mcb add fetch uvx mcb server fetch and here it goes 
So now we're just going to do Claude MCP list. We see fetch. Great. Okay. Now here's what we're going to do. We're going to leave this terminal and reopen it up. So now we're back in the same directory. We're going to type in Claude and we see here it opened up Claude code and fetch is connected. By the way, in the documentation, it doesn't say anything about quitting terminal and restarting, but I find closing terminal and reopening it and starting Claude code again works just like we do with Claude desktop. So let's add Brave Search. So Brave Search, same thing. We're going to go to the Brave Search MP MCP GitHub. And again, you need a Brave API key for this to work. I'm guessing you already have one. I go into this in multiple other videos. I'll put a link below on how to get a Brave API key. If you just sign up, you get 2,000 free credits a month. It's great. Also, I will revoke the API key I'm using now here. I'm just showing you guys how to do it. So we're going to go like this. Brave search, MPX, the Brave API key. Okay, so I set mine up. Cloud MCP add. Then we go here. Brave search, MPX, add model context protocol server, Brave search, dash E. This is for environment variables. Brave API key. And here's my Brave API key that I will revoke. And we press enter. And let's hope it works on the first shot. Runs Brave API server. Yes. This is so weird. So this time it's telling me to do it this way. Let's just try it. This is so funny. This time it told me it didn't work. They changed the format of the API key. They put it before, even though that's not what they tell you to do here. And even though it worked for me a different way before, but okay. So let's just see that it works. So we're going to close this terminal. Let's just open up Claude again. And no, now it's very finicky. It's really late. So maybe I'm just tired, but let's just do this really quickly. Four, I got it to work with dash G, but for whatever reason, it's not working. So we're going to do the other method that they mentioned in the documentation, ENV. Let's hope this works. No, let's just give it some contact, Claude. CP list. Okay, so it's giving us some context. Okay, so let's try this again. Claude MCP at Brave Search MPX. Okay, this time it worked. Same exact command. Let's test it out. So what I found also works sometimes if you do Claude MCP serve. Let's run that really quickly. When you're not in Claude code. Let's just open a new terminal. Let's run Claude code and hopefully it'll stay connected. Boom! Oh my gosh. Okay, so now we're just going to check if Brave Search is working. We're going to type in use Brave Search to find the weather in NY. Yes. And amazing. We already see searching and we got and we have a response already. Current weather in NY is partly cloudy with light winds. It's been a long night. MCB servers for cloud code work. They are very finicky. Sometimes they work with the dash E. Sometimes they work with the dash dash E and V. Sometimes you just have to keep prompting Claude code to get the context to understand what the MCP servers are. And then it works. I don't understand it, but it works. So Claude code research preview. We experienced that tonight. I'll do more videos of actually coding with Claude code, but I think that's it for now. If you found this video helpful, give it a like. If you have any comments or feedback or you understand what was going on there, because as you saw, we tried the same thing multiple times and eventually it worked. But yeah, so if you haven't done so already, subscribe to the channel. I try to make videos that make AI accessible to everyone from beginners to advanced users. Thank you for watching and have a great day. I'm going to sleep.